What's up guys, it's Denadon here, and today I am back in Kerbal Space Program having a look at the update from 0.25, and I made this thing, which is an ion-powered glider of sorts, with RCS, because it is a VTOL, but I wanted to make it tiny, because, well, I like making stuff small and then seeing if I can actually fly it. So you can see one of the things with this update is they replaced the original control surfaces that we've all known and gotten used to with these elevons on the Space Plane Plus mod that is now stock. Now given that mod is one of my favourites, I'm glad it got added to the stock game. But let's see how we go here, just move my mouse out the way. And okay, for a VTOL sort of takeoff, we've got to enable RCS and we've got to hold down K to lift it up like that and then put a little bit of forward momentum until the ion engine takes over and there we go now we're falling a bit so let's boost it up you need to get a little bit of speed before we can go but I think we're doing okay now yep there we go now I'm using the joystick here again which I had to rebind everything to because the update lost the old bindings for whatever reason but anyway this thing as you can see actually flies reasonably well and it's a good way to have a look around at the Space Center because it flies reasonably slowly for what it is. Ooh, gonna hit that. Oh, come on. So close. I wonder if we can fly this, what's left of it. We've got all our solar panels. Um, let's try it. Uh, wrong button. Let's get some speed. Are we gonna be able to fly at all? Probably not. No. Oh, 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 oh. We've just got... You can see all the linear ports there. Um, this isn't going to be able to fly, is it? No, I'm going to try that again. Let's just get some power on. Yes! <laughs> what have I made here? Yeah, look at it go. Ooh, nice bit of explosions. And now we are just a tank. Oh, but look, now we can fly. <laughs> yes, see, I ditched all that excess weight. You don't need it. But I'm going to run out of RCS soon, so... Um, this has actually given me an idea. Why don't I just try making something that is just this? I'll be back in a few moments as that explodes. Okay, so here we go. We are back with this thing, which I modified slightly, but basically it's what we saw before. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I didn't actually believe something like this would work, but I guess Kerbal Space Program proves that anything you think can be wrong. So, yeah, we've just got just a probe and some linear RCS ports now. And we can just hover along. Now, I was going to do the video showing off how I can fly that ion-powered plane, but screw it now. Now I'm just showing off this thing. Because this actually flies better than that did. Which I am kind of ashamed to admit. But let's go over the astronaut complex here. There's the new accounting building, I think that's what they called it, which has a swimming pool. Oh, we're drifting a bit low here. See, the thing with this is you can fly it anywhere. I should have put some more ports on it, but I was trying to keep the weight down. Oop, and, yep, as the RCS drains, it starts to get imbalanced, so it's going to cause some issues as we go, but let's just fly up to the top of the vehicle assembly building. Let's get it up. Whoops, let's try and just land it. I'm not going to try landing on the pads. Oh, look, it's my beacon. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, I landed it right next to my beacon rocket that's been sitting on top of this building now for, I don't know, quite a few things actually. Also, it's floating now, that's interesting, it didn't used to do that. But anyway, that is, I guess, what was originally going to be my iron-powered aircraft. Now it is just an RCS-powered probe that can do, you know, just silly shit like this. But uh, I'm just going to fly it off, fling it somewhere. It's not going to be able to destroy these buildings, which you can now do, as it doesn't have the mass. But, oh well, there we go. Can we save the probe? Can we? Let's... No. Nice explosion, though. But anyway, that was the probe. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and safe landings.